Volleyball doesn't just have to be played in the classic six on six teams, but even two players can play several fun volleyball games. And three inspirational forms of one on one game I'll show you in this video. Whenever I have the opportunity, I like to compare my volleyball skills with other players or with my son. I like to play some of the non traditional games that volleyball has to offer and that I have learned about in my volleyball career. I'm sure you love to compete too, which is why I have these three simple but sometimes uh, quite physically and mentally uh, challenging volleyball games uh, for you to play or year long, uh, not just uh, during volleyball season. You can also play them outdoors in the summer on any harder surface. I'll start with a simple game at the net. We play on a court that is approximately 3 by 3 meters. Uh, the back boundary is of the court is uh, formed by 3 meter line. One side boundary is the line of the court and the other can be marked out using this uh, football disc cones or you can use another form of marking. The game starts with a serve uh, which can be done with an underarm serve or normal serve hit or a power hit tip hit. I personally recommend a power tip serve. This is followed by the actual game. As in normal volleyball, each player can touch the ball uh, three times. He doesn't always have to play three touches, but he has the opportunity to pass the serve and set up the ball for attack for himself. He can play even with one hand or with his feet. The game is played uh, without a jump, only from the ground. If both players are smaller and cannot reach over the net, we can put the net uh, lower so that the palms of the hands are over the net. If we reach uh, above the net, uh, we can then block uh, and even our attacks uh, will be more dangerous uh, than if we play over a high net. The purpose uh, of this game is not to copy classical volleyball, but to develop individual technique as you will be constantly touching the ball. Most importantly, to score a point, you will have to improvise and use creative ways to literally outsmart your opponent. I recommend uh, playing this game to 15 points and then switching sides. My son and I play this game together often and we are enjoying some uh, beautiful battles uh, when we try to score points on the attack or on the block, use a tip behind the block or play for the net tape. The second game is not traditional since we let the ball hit the ground and we can't do that in a normal volleyball. Now the court is a rectangle 9 by 3 meters on each side. It's actually the territory of the front zones in volleyball. The serve, which is performed by underarm serve, should aim to the other player, not immediately to the side. The player lets the ball hit the ground, that is the obligation. And then he can play the ball with his uh, fingers or bump it over the net. We play the ball to the spots uh, so as uh, to get the other players moving. Each time we have to let the ball fall before we can play it. We cannot play the ball with one hand, only with the both hands uh, with uh, overhand pass or bump. We are also not allowed to attack the ball. You just have to have a quick feet and direct the ball to where the other players is not. Again, we play to 15 points, but uh, count on the fact that uh, this is already a physically demanding game and you will be running from one end to the other end of the court. On the other hand, uh, this is an excellent uh, preparatory game for developing uh, movement around the court, where you always have to be on the ball in the time. And also this game develops uh, your tactical thinking, because if you play easy balls to the other side, you can count on the running much more than your opponent. The third game I want to introduce you today is a game we played in Berlin when I was there. Again, it's a one one-on-one game. In this game we are already playing half court. If the half court is not marked in the hall, again we use uh, football disc cones to help us. The court is limited. The ball cannot be played within the first three meters in the field. That is an out, as well as behind the field or beside the field. Start of the game is done by attacking the ball into the ground uh, with the goal of the ball bouncing to the other side beyond the 3 meter line. 
This is then uh, followed by playing the ball bump over the net. Uh, the ball can be played anywhere, but only bump is allowed, even with your back to the net. No overhand pass or attacking is allowed. No one-handed touches. The object of the game is to get a point right up uh, the court, force an opponent into an error or literally to tire out the opponent. Also, we now play to 15 points and I can tell you from my personal experience, it's not an easy game once you learn how to play it. You will soon learn to play short balls just past the 3 meter line and long balls just before the end of the court. And that means a lot of running for your opponent who will surely understand your tactics soon enough and try to make similar problems for you. I recommend this game to be played by more skilled and advanced volleyball players. It's quite uh, challenging for younger or beginner volleyball players. For them it's advisable to reduce the playing area by reducing the length of the court or narrowing the court. So try these uh, three simple one-on-one -on -one volleyball games and compete uh, with your friends or in a team. You'll find that these are great games and you will have a lot of fun while squeezing uh, maximum volleyball performance uh, out of you. I also believe uh, that these games will help you to become a better player. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.